Happy Thursday, Snow Day, Larson Heights, and welcome to Bedtime Stories with Mrs. Schatzko. Tonight, okay, so I hope that you guys all did tons and tons of reading today because, you know, we have to meet Beat North in the Larson North Literary Challenge for this month. So um, tonight I'm wearing a different hat than I wore last night so that you can read with somebody with a hat on or maybe you could get your own hats and read with me while I'm reading along. Tonight's story is one of my very, very most favorite children's books ever. It is called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. It is written by Doreen Cronin and the pictures are by Betsy Lewin. So let's get started. Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Have you ever heard of cows typing? Do you think they can do that? I don't know, because apparently they can. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Holy moly, look at that. Does Farmer Brown look very happy about that? He doesn't look very happy to me. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Impossible? I don't know. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So, the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. You see that note? Sorry, we're closed. No milk. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busily at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack. Moo! Look at those cows. They are very good at what they do, aren't they? The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Do you know what hens are? Hens is another word for chickens. It's the girl chickens. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. You see that? No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. The cows and the hens look pretty happy though, don't they? Do you see Farmer Brown? See him running down there? Isn't that funny? I love it. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Mm -hmm. 
duck was a neutral party. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. I want somebody to come and tell me tomorrow what a neutral party means and what an ultimatum is. I bet you can figure it out from context. There goes duck with the notes. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn door to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Look at all those animals gathered around. There's a horse and a pig and a dog and a cat and a sheep. Holy moly. Unfortunately, they don't understand moo. Neither do I. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed a note to Farmer Brown. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Look at that, all those cows and hens, electric blankets, everybody's warm in the barn. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board, sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. The end. Have a wonderful night, Larson Heights Elementary, and keep soaring with the eagles. I missed you all today, and I cannot wait to see you all tomorrow morning. Sleep tight, soar with eagles, and have wonderful dreams.